everyone and welcome to yet another live event. We are here outside our Kitchener showroom. I am Jenna and we have TA's very own chef Anna. And today, as she mentioned, we are doing wood-fired pizza with the Fontana Fornai. So today you're going to teach us not only how to make some delicious wood fire pizza but you're going to give us a little spiel about this wood fire pizza oven that's right so this is the margarita uh, pizza oven from fontana uh, it's one that's their smaller oven but you can still do a lot with it you can do a whole 12 inch pizza possibly even two pizzas you can roast chicken you can do vegetables potatoes really so it's more than just a pizza oven it's more than just a pizza oven not bad it's based, just think of it as an oven with a fire in it. That's cool. <laughs> so can you tell us like, why would I want this beautiful wood fire pizza oven? So you mentioned something, like it's more than just pizza, but yeah. you know, what's, what else is, what, sell me on it. Why okay. do I want it? Well, do you love cooking over fire? Um, I never have, but okay. I could. <laughs> you could. I mean, does like hot dogs over the campfire count? That does definitely count. Okay. Well, then yeah. I definitely have done that yeah. a couple of times. So if you really like cooking with fire and you really like pizza, this is a really good option for you. Well, cooking, well, learning to cook with fire is definitely a bit of a learning curve. It's, there's much more to it than just turning on the gas. Um, but it is a lot of fun, especially if you like the pace of cooking with fire, you like the smell, the, the experience, uh, then this is a really good option. If you've used a, like a, a stone oven before, mm -hmm. those are really awesome too. But the advantages of using an oven like this is that it's so much more insulated, it's gonna be so much more fuel efficient, um, and it's gonna cook things, it comes up to temp a lot faster, and it's a lot of fun. That's great. It's a beautiful like statement piece too that you can put in your backyard. Yeah, so this is can be a countertop option. We have it on the cart, which is an optional addition. Um, but you can put it right on an outdoor countertop. It only needs to be one inch away from combustibles because it is so insulated. There's about 12 centimeters of insulation on the sides, the back and the bottom, which you don't get in all pizza ovens on the market. Uh, it's seam welded, so very strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the bottom you have a set of stones and you can, um, uh, Fontana also sells especially handmade stones for really high temperatures too, which are great. These will work really well. And you can hear it crackling. Yeah, like, we let's can. Let's get in it. Can you like, can, can we give a peek? Are so we allowed to do that? So fire going for a little while. Julia wants to know if it comes in gas. It does come in gas. And is there an indoor installation possible? Uh, that is not a question I would answer. I'm going to guess no. I think you could, if you had like an outdoor kitchen area that was covered, that would be fine with enough clearance for the chimney. But this is definitely much more of an outdoor product. You also don't really want to cook with wood in your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Outside of like a wood stove. Yeah. Right? That is vented outside. Cool. So we're at right almost 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, our air temperature is 700 degrees, but what's more important is our stone temperature. And to tell that, to tell where your stone temperature is at, you need an infrared thermometer, which comes with the accessory kit for this oven. Awesome. Purchased separately. So. Oh, it looks like a fun little tool there. It is so much fun. So we're at 620. Ideally you want it a little bit higher, but for the purposes of demonstration, we might start here. So I'm gonna keep it covered. Your stone temperature is always about uh, 10 minutes away from your air temperature. So if you've hit your air temperature, we were at 700. So in about 10 minutes, we're gonna be at about 700 on our stone. Okay. Which is great. Cool. Uh, damper up here also, so I've got it fully open to start. Um, when I get to the temperature I want to maintain, I'm gonna partially close it. So kind of similar to how if you're using a keg or that kind of barbecue uh, where you're controlling your airflow and with char charcoal, same theory with the wood fire oven. What kind of wood do you use? So this is a pizza blend. A pizza blend? <laughs> but wood can be a pizza woods, blend? But you can use, <laughs> you can use um, whatever wood, like fruit woods are really good to use in this oven. Um, basically any kind of wood except any kind of hardwood uh air dried especially so like i could go into the forest hack a tree down and 
actually what cut is up? the hardwood and you hardwood. Dry it okay. Out. So you can also like go somewhere special to buy. Yeah, some wood too. Get, make sure it's aged and dried so okay. that it burns really fast. Yeah. Also, don't use anything that's been treated. Yes. Because chemicals, you're right? Eating what you're eating, yeah. Right? We don't want so. that. We don't want that. Mm -mm. Okay. Cool. So. That's going. Our temperature is coming up. Are you gonna make some pizza now? We can make some pizza. All right. So what do we have here? So I've got some cheese, some peps, some sauce, uh, flour for our pizza dough. This is a little bit of semolina. It's a little bit grittier to okay. help our pizza dough slide. All right. Uh, some salt. And then I also have these vegetables that I actually cooked in the wood fired oven earlier. Yeah, those, it smells delicious. Now, so use it casting. Just is asking, how did you start it? How did you start up the, the fire? Today? So there's a fire bracket in the corner of the oven. And I started the fire with um, some paper and some small twigs. And as it got bigger, then I would gradually start adding more larger pieces on it. For the purpose of time, that's why we didn't show how to how right. to start the fire this time. Because it takes, what, about 30 minutes or so to heat up to temperature? Once you have the fire going. Once you have the fire going. Yeah. So, so the yeah. fire part could take maybe like 15, 20, up to half an hour, depending on the quality or wood. And then another like 30 minutes to get up to 500. Yeah. And then if you're going higher, it's going to be more. So again, this is if you have patience, right? Yes. So if you're not looking for a quick pizza and you have time, you're enjoying the outdoors, uh, this is the pizza oven for you. Yes, once you get to the high temperature, you're gonna then have real fast pizza. Yes, yeah. the actual cooking time is very minimal. That's right. Yeah, just patience to get it started. Cool. So this is, so my... this is the dough. Yeah. And from scratch? It is from scratch. Okay. It's a pretty high hydration because I want some really nice air bubbles. Okay. And do you need, um, like, could I buy store-bought dough? Yeah, you could definitely buy store-bought dough. Making your own pizza dough really doesn't take that much time, though. Yeah. So I recommend that you try it. always it. tastes better when you do it from scratch. Exactly. But just making sure for those people who might not be as confident in the kitchen to make their dough from scratch, I could buy store-bought dough. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And I'm... Keep a close eye because you're going to make one. Next. Oh, I'm going to make one. Oh, shoot, guys. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, and, okay, another question. Mm -hmm. If I got a pizza from Frozen, can you put yeah. it in there? I know it kind of defeats the purpose, mm -hmm. but... You could put it at a lower temperature. Lower temperature. So I wouldn't be doing okay. that at like 700 because you're going to burn it before yeah. it cooks through. Okay. So we're having an authentic experience here. Yeah. Oh, and the wasps. That's right. The fine. wasps are here. Okay, so, so you're you stretching make it out. Sure it's very thin. We were doing a. What type of pizza are we doing? Uh, we're doing like a Na Napoleon. No. Oh man, Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Thank there you. There we go. I lost my words. That's fine. That's, That's why I'm here. Th yes. <laughs> Neapolitan. So, can you describe what does that actually mean? So, there is like a special designation for that style of pizza. Okay. If you have to use the right tomatoes and the right flour and the right temperature and everything has a very specific thing, uh, tradition, down to the way that you swirl the sauce on your pizza. That's crazy. Did that, anyone know that? Let us know in the chat. Did you know that you have to be certified to actually call it the Neapolitan, Neapolitan. pizza? Swirl it, the sauce in a certain direction. Yeah. But well, so we are doing that style in uh, like dough style and the dough style. Okay. Now and the thinness Jake is, only. Jake is asking if uh, you can do sausages and hot dogs or even s'mores in it. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You'd need obviously like a baking tray or something because it is an oven. Yes. There's no grill in there. So That's would right. you put it in like the cast iron skillet or can you just put it, you'd, you wouldn't put it just in with nothing there, would you? No, I'd use a skillet. If I okay. was um, like roasting peppers, like red peppers, yeah. I would just throw the peppers in there. Okay, I'm taking cool. the skins off. Gotcha. All right, so let's try this out. Okay. And my sauce. Yeah, it looks like nobody knew that about the uh, Neapolitan. Yeah, fun uh, fast of the day, guys. Recently. Also, your pizzas don't have to be round. No. No. No, Don't worry about it. No, they're artisanal. <laughs> That's right. The closer you start to a round ball at the beginning, the more likely you're going to have a round uh, result. 
similar with when you're making pie dough. The salt. Oh. And how come you grilled like the veggies ahead of time? Because I'm cooking the pizza for such a short period of time, it's such a high temperature. Okay. If I were to put the veggies on raw, they wouldn't cook. Gotcha. All right. Noted. So, or if you were to use raw veggies, I would use something like a mandolin to cut them really, really thin. Okay. No cheese. Good. I want to know, what's everyone's favorite pizza toppings? Can you let us know in the chat? I love some bacon, some, Ooh. I like banana peppers. Jay Pizzle likes the cheese on the bottom. Yes, oh. I've done that style before too. Pepperoni goes on top, he says. Mm. We like what about it layers? It, like, layers. It cooks and it curls up a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Now I get to see if I'm gonna look at that huge do monstrous an okay thing. Job with this or not. So now we have to make sure that it's gonna roll and it's not gonna slide, and that we've got enough moisture. Or we don't have too much moisture, and that I put enough on the bottom of this pizza. And I feel like this is the the hardest part. This is the hardest part. You can also build it. Um. Andrew says Hawaiian. Lori says olives and chicken for her. Oh. Just likes just cheese, classic cheese. There's nothing wrong with a classic cheese pizza. Lots of participation today. That's great. Love well, it. it's pizza. Everyone oh. loves pizza. We're Except for Ken's dad, apparently. I remember him saying that. Nice. Hey. It takes a little bit of practice, but. Yeah. Uh, Anna knows what she's doing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you hold this for a second? I sure can. Oh my gosh. One special step. I forgot to talk about. <laughs> Brushing. Oh. So we want to make sure that we clean the stone before we throw that in there. Cool. All, All right. right. I'm going to let the expert do this. So you want to make sure you've got movement. We've got movement. You got good. movement there. And then you're putting it like right in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Can we and get a close up shot of that before we close her up? Look at that. All right. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot in there. Close her up. All right. Keep that heat in. So now we need this guy. Doug says he sucks at putting the uh, pizza over the paddle. You can also get yep. like uh, flat paddles that you can build the pizza on the paddle. Oh, okay. And just make sure you've got enough uh, flour under there. So you don't so want you moisture, right? Yeah. The danger also with having too much flour though is that you burn the flour on the stone. So you don't want that either. Right. I was also asking, is it all wheels? Now this is a cart bottom, right? Can I explain that? But it does have wheels. Yes. Right. The two. So it's got two wheels at the back. You can use these as handles to lift and move your oven around. That's, is that an add-on feature or is that? So the cart is separate from the, the top part, the countertop, the pizza oven. So remember, Anna did say that this top part, you can have your outdoor kitchen, um, that you have like cabinetry, countertop, you can put that right on it, or you can have this feature too with the cart here. So it is sold separately. Yeah. Okay. So this should only take about a couple of minutes. Okay. We'll want to go in with our turner tool here. It probably has a special name, but I'm going to call it a turner tool. And here we go. Oh, see, look. Let's look. Oh, Lee. No. Our temp is, is getting there. So you want to turn it because depending on how big your fire is, it's gonna change where the hottest part of the ovens are. So does it matter? So you have like the fire to the left. Can you have yes. it, like can you move it all over or does it matter or why do you have it there? So I have it there because it's actually got a reinforced piece of um, steel. So they reinforce this part of the oven because that's where the fire goes. And it's the part that's most likely to um, have the most tension, I guess, like where it would break the most easily. Um, so that's why they've reinforced it. So you keep the fire in the same place. 
Well, you got the chat going crazy for that pizza. They love the look of it already. And the speed. Very fast. All right. That's ready. It's ready. Woo. Look at that. Lovely. Let's get a closer shot of that. Get in there. Look at it. Like how many minutes was that? That was like what? Two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. Look at that. Now is that all for you, Anna? It might be. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that pizza. Oh, lots of hearts. There you go. All right, Jenna, you're up. I'm up? Oh, is it my turn? It's oh, gosh. Turn. All right. So, taking the dough. I forget your steps. It's okay. Oh, you, oh, you have to cut it. Yeah, because it okay. came together. Okay. Now what? Make it into kind of a ball as best you can. Okay. And dip it in our flour. Okay. Dipping on all sides. All sides. Can you just like roll it kind of? Yeah, you can roll it. Okay. Good. Okay. Onto our table. table. Okay, so now and you're going to... Yep. Push Press like it that. down all around. Now you said it could go any shape, right? Oh yeah. Any shape as long as it's like similar thickness. Should I try doing a heart? You can try doing a heart. DC wants to know where the <laughs> pizza oven is made. It is made in Italy. In Italy? Yes. Can we do that? So you know it's serious business. Serious business. Look at that. Looking good. Oh, oh, that's okay. Did I just fold it over like that? We got lots of trucks coming in here. We're outside. It's nice and loud. Okay, I kind of, I can just fold it up like that, right? Looks great. What's wrong with my heart? <laughs> it's always being it's judged. A I thick. feel <laughs> a little thick. Well, what if we want a thicker crust? If you want a thicker crust, totally. By all means, does this look a like a heart? Crust. It does look like a, like a heart. Heart's in the chat, but looks like a heart. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just not that big. If you are going to do a thicker crust pizza, you want to use like a lower oven temperature. Okay. But so we'll you, want to, you want me to thin it out? You so I'm just supposed to press with my hands. I'm not like using a rolling pin or anything. No, any, because if you use a rolling pin, you're going to press out all the air. Oh. You're going to get a very flat pizza. See on this one over here, we're getting some really nice bubbling. Which is due to the really nice high hydration I have on this Well, one. we're going to attempt this heart because we're supposed to have fun when we're cooking, That's right. right? Cooking is fun. Okay. It should be fun. It should be fun. Okay. Is that, this side is, well, your heart's really not symmetrical, right? So one side's a little bit bigger than the other side. Are people liking my heart? They're saying it's something. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough, guys. It's something. All right. Okay, is that good? do I need it thinner? Let's try it. Let's try it. Anthony says, "Good to know that they're not the only one who struggles stretching the stretching the dough." See, it just takes practice. That's Beautiful. The chat there for you. <laughs> I should have showed you the heart, so you know what a heart actually looks like. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, see, it rips. So, I don't know, guys. So a gentle way. Oh, I have to be. I'm too aggressive. You can just gently pull. Oh, okay. There we gently go. Gently pull. See? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's lo less looking like a heart. I but think it's, it's still got the heart vibes. Kind heart of. vibes? Yeah. It's fine. Maybe if we pinch it down there. The intent is there, you know? Yeah. I'm cooking with love here today, guys. That's what you're supposed to do in the kitchen, right? That's right. That's going to be good enough for now. Sauce it up. Okay, sauce it. Okay. Uh, Beautiful. It says, oh, it looks like a butterfly. You know what? That's all right. It's your own interpretation, really. Yeah. Abstract art. Yeah. Now, did you make the sauce from scratch? I did make the sauce from scratch. Oh. This is actually a combination of um, just crushed tomatoes. Okay. And um, our own flip and smoked hot sauce that oh. we sell here. At I say our own, but we sell it. We don't yeah. actually make it. Um, and it's a really nice smoky. It's a little sweet. Uh, and it's a nice addition. Okay. Is that good enough? Beautiful. Thank you. Now, I think Jay Pizzle said in the chat, he puts the cheese first. So he said, so should we try? We'll try that. Let's try it out. We'll try that. Cheese first, pep on top. 
We're gonna do lots of cheese. Okay, and then we're gonna do some pepperoni. Oh, look at that little guy. And I'm gonna put them all outside. Look at this. This is gonna be a masterpiece. Okay, some veg, caramel and onions, some peppers, some mushrooms. Oh, that's a little too much. We wanna load it too much, do we? No, you wanna keep uh Keep it light? Keep it light. There we go. So that's good enough, okay. Yeah. You ready? I don't know, I'm a little scared. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to put some flour or is it okay? Well, we're gonna test it, right? We'll test it. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad. Hey. Nice. Okay. Do you want to slide it in the oven? Oh, sure. Let's All show right. the people how it's done, right? You can do it. Do you have to do a little dance first? Yeah, get dun, ready. Dun, dun, make, dun. Sure it's, make sure it's moving. It's moving. Uh -oh. oh, see, that's what, oh. There we go. It. Okay. Okay, ready? There, is that good? Did we do it? Oh, you're an expert, Jenna. Oh, I know. Great work. Woo! <laughs> and that's how it's done, guys. All right, so this is gonna take maybe a little bit longer because it's a little bit thicker. Yeah. So I think last time it took like two, three minutes, so mm -hmm. maybe four or five. Yeah, and especially we're coming down a little bit on temperature, so that okay. will help as well. Yeah. Do we have this oven in stock right now? Sure do. Sure do. You can actually buy this product right now if you're loving it. That's we right. have a product list. You can click on it. You can check out from there. Or if you want to come see it in person, you can come down to one of our six TA locations. Kitchener, Barry, Brantford, Toronto, Mississauga. And we have a second location in Kitchener. Um, and if you're in town, you can come stop by now, see us, and maybe you'll get a slice of my heart slash butterfly pizza. So that's good. So then next we use this other Turner yes. thing. Okay. Now once it's going, how much wood do you think it would take? Not much because it is so insulated, it is really efficient. So I've only added, I don't think I've added any wood since we started this demonstration. All right. Oh, oh look at it, it's popped up. up. That's great. And it's a beautiful October day. End oh, of October, yes. it's like, what, almost 20 degrees out, sunny? So we're still outside making some za in the end of October. And actually on Tuesday, November 1st, we're making calzones with this uh, wood fire pizza oven. So make sure you tune in for that next week. Doug says it cooks so fast. Even for that really thick good. crust, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you have some thick crust pizza lovers out there, so we got to cater to them as well. Yeah, you could even do a pan pizza in here if you uh, yeah. have like a baking dish, put your pizza dough in there, cook it at a bit of a lower temperature, but it is so good. And I like these details here, is that just for aesthetic or is there a purpose behind it? There's also a purpose, so it helps with airflow. Okay. Because the airflow is what's going to keep your fire maintained and also how you grow it and how you turn it off. <laughs> Airplane, awesome important factor we got some requests for boston style something like detroit Ooh, style yeah I okay style, but i don't know what boston style is. i i'm not sure i know what boston i don't know what it is, is. Who, who said that in the chat yeah uh jay pizzle jay pizzle what's boston style enlighten us yeah are you is it, uh, is it, apples do they like them apples <laughs> like is them? there a waterloo kitchener waterloo style are we just throwing out city names there? There was Waterloo style. It would have to have Oktoberfest sausage on it, wouldn't it? One would think. Perhaps, yes. There we go. Look at your little heart. Look at my little guy. That's cute. It is cute. All right. So that's good. You got a plate? You got a plate? Or plate in her up? There we go. And we're, we are missing a little bit of a point for the heart, but you know what? We tried. We tried. And that's what matters. Butterfly. Maybe it's a, it's a shrimp. I don't know. Some sort of sea creature. Pac-Man. 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 Yep. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's great. Do we have any more questions in the chat? 
Let us know, folks. Any more questions? Dude, we're here. I don't know. Whose looks better, though? I mean, they're two different. We got this one has a bit thicker crust. That took, like, no time at all either, right? Well, no. No, obviously fast. Anna's is, is bigger, but I'm not sharing that one. <laughs> no. It's a <laughs> pizza. Awesome. Yeah, do we have any other questions, any other questions for us? About this oven? Not that everyone's quiet. Everyone's probably just like, we want yeah. you to share this with us where Uber eats it, right? Yeah. Well, again, if you're in town, come by our Kitchener location. We might just feed you. Uh, when you make the dough, do you have to let it sit overnight? This dough I did let sit overnight, yes. So it bulk fermented on my counter for about two hours, and then it went in the fridge overnight. And then you let it sit out for a couple hours before you put in the oven. But every recipe is different, but most of the recipes I've seen for wood-fired ovens do uh, rest the dough overnight for flavor and texture. So again, this uh, wood fire pizza oven, not just for pizzas. No. We, we said we, uh, Anna made uh, the veggies in there in a cast iron mm -hmm. skillet. You can do some baking in it. Yep. Um, basically, you can do anything in this oven. Yeah, you right? can bake a lot of really nice bread in here too. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it kind of gives that just that different uh, flavor and taste, right? Or mm -hmm. just ask if there's a cover for it. And uh, yes, there is. Yes, there is a cover for it. Yeah. So that's great. Well, I think that's about it that we have to show them. We have more pizzas to make. But if you're interested in buying this uh, wood fire pizza oven from Fantana, you can buy online. Come visit us in store. Kitchener, Toronto, Mississauga, Barry, Brantford. Um, come see us. Come have some pizza. Um, we'll be live on Thursday at 12 doing another event. So check us out. Again, if you want to see this in action, we're back here Tuesday, November 1st at 12 p.m. We're making calzones for National Calzone Day. Um, and there might be also a special offer. Ooh. So you'll want to tune in for that, especially if you're loving this pizza oven. Anyways, thanks for joining us, everyone. And we wish you a great day and see you next time.